so much excitement. Hey, thanks guys. We understand it's 5.30 and uh, it's getting late. Been a long day. It's been a good day. Um, so we'll just get to it. I, my name's Brent Harwood. I'm the global lead for the relationship with, uh, with Magento. And I will introduce uh, Joy Martin, is the, the, uh, the global lead for product strategies between Authorized Net and CyberSource. And uh, Sean Lee in the back, she's capturing photos and, and all things marketing. Um, she is the, the global lead of partner marketing. Um, and I'll let uh, Sonia introduce herself and Brian. Thank you so much. Um, hi, I'm Sonia Ozarker. I'm the global lead for the Magento relationship uh, the, with CyberSource. Brenda and I work very closely together. Um, I feel like I have a loud enough voice, but OK. Um, and then I'd like to introduce um, my Batman Robin combination. My technical ninja, Brian Ng. Um, he's everything incredible on all things technical. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sonia. So I guess to, to really kick it off, um, I wanted to give a brief history of CyberSource and Authorized Net and actually Visa. It's, it's interesting, you know, talking to people. Um, you know, some people come up to our booth and say, hey, we use CyberSource, you know, who's, who's Authorized Net? Or we use Authorized Net, who's CyberSource? So um, both CyberSource and Authorized Net have been around for about 25 years. Um, in 2007, CyberSource acquired Authorized Net. And then in 2010, Visa um, acquired CyberSource. So now we all fall under the, the Visa family of, um, of products and synergies. So we, you know, both payment gateways, um, one, CyberSource major focus on enterprise merchants, authorized nets, small to mid-sized business market, and uh, we are all part of the same, the same group. Thank you so much, Brent. And uh, from the history, just some marquee merchants that we own together, um, you'll see that we, res we have all the different um, segments, marketplaces that we have since the acquisition um, of Visa taking us over. Um, really, that global expansion, you'll see that we now have over 2 billion token storage, um, over um, almost 500,000 merchants collectively together. We're processing in 190 countries, um, over 13 billion transactions, and then some really cool marquee uh, merchants that we um, manage today on the CyberSource and Authorize.net platforms. Welcome to the... I was going to pass it over to you. Yeah, let's just pass it over to you. Perfect. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, no problem. Hi, everybody. Um, Brian Ng here. I lead the tech partners integration team. And I'd love to tell you today a little bit about our Stellar uh, Developer Center. And with that in mind, uh, we're going to kick it off with a video and then a live demo. And I hope the demo gods are, are kind of... Uh, uh, you know, ble bless it to, uh, to us and uh, everything is working. So we'll just kick off the, the, the um, video here. Welcome to the CyberSource Developer Center, where a fresh new coding experience makes it easy to discover, develop, and deploy payment solutions all on one global platform. The Developer Center lets you integrate and launch the payment solutions you need in a simple, secure, and scalable way. With new REST APIs, language-specific SDKs, and comprehensive sample code. Let's take a look at how easy it is to get started. Get up to speed fast on our APIs with a true hands-on sandbox experience. There is sample code available for every API request in each of the six most popular development languages. You can test any of the APIs by simply selecting the desired outcome. A successful transaction delivers a positive HTTP status code. Once your code is ready to go, it is easy to integrate into your own API. Our development guides provide detailed background material and tutorial content, so you can dive in, find the information and API references you need, and get up and running on new solutions within minutes. Developer Center resources include GitHub repositories, a testing guide, error response codes, forums, an upgrade guide, and more. Ready to start developing? Hello World offers a quick payments tutorial and lets you start sandbox testing right away. To explore how the CyberSource Developer Center can help you build your customized payment solutions, visit developer.cybersource.com.
feel like you're in the movie theater, right? Um, yeah, so that was a great clip, clip of our de developer center. Uh, we've really focused on the, the developer in mind. How many, show of hands, how many are developers here that are just uh, business folks or any developers in the room or one? <laughs> okay, well that's good. I just wanted to kind of read the audience a little bit. Um, but just kind of the, the, the history of the two overlapping platforms. Um, Authorize.net, as Brett has mentioned already, uh, we're, we're kind of a, a family of companies that, that is part, part of, of, of the Visa um, solution. Um, we have two different segments that we focus on. Um, CyberSource focused more on the enterprise. Uh, we're, we're very much um, leading into uh, with fraud, fraud detection, uh, multi-currency, uh, 3D secure. Um, and there's a regulation called PSD2 that, that's recently happened with Europe uh, and payouts. But, but I think uh, one thing to keep in mind is, is while these two platforms are, are very different, we have one thing that, a lot of things that are in common uh, as the developer center. I'm gonna pass it over to Joy, my colleague, to uh, talk more about uh, the off.net off off net platform. So we wanna make this more like conversation, so it will be heavy on demo more than a presentation in deck. I'm just wondering though, anyone aware or is using authorized net? Anyone in the room? Oh, that's good to know. How about CyberSource? Okay, so just so you know, um, 10, 12 years ago, um, with authorized net, if you need to test our gateway or you want a sandbox account, you have to call customer support and then we will provide you a shared sandbox credentials. So what that means is, Brett from Paradox will be using the say API login ID and transaction key that Brian Ng is using. So it's a shared report, so you can't really configure the settings. And with authorized net being an open API, that was not a sustainable model. So what we did is we added the boarding API. So what we have now is when you go to our developer center, you can just sign up for a Sandbox account, you have your own account, and then you can do configure your settings. Sorry, running out of breath. And then you, we also put together like a checklist. So once you integrated your credentials, what are the things you need to do? What are the error generations guide? Like if you want to test an error one, two, three, or error 13, I'm sure you guys are aware of those errors. So, and then what we did is based on the demand and the need of our merchants and developers, we had to build a community, which now our developer community has 80,000 users and it has like 188,000 unique views a month. Fairly recently, like back in October, we mimic what we did on the authorized net side for CyberSource. So now we just launched the CyberSource Developer Center and that's what um, Brian is going to demo. Thanks, Joy. Thanks, Joy. Um, so we're just gonna cut over to uh, a live demo and um, I, I'm sorry if, if things are slow because the Wi-Fi is kind of spotty. Um, but I'm just gonna cut over here. Oh. Hmm. Hold on. Take that out of the mode. Can everybody see that? Okay. Sorry, a um, little technical difficulty there. Um, so I'm gonna switch over to a live browser here. Uh, this is developer.cybersearch.com. Um, and, and, you know, it, it it's, it's something that a lot of folks are used to these days is, is uh, a very friendly API development in environment where people can go and, and, and start, start rapid, rapid co coding. Um, so we do have, um, as Joy mentioned, we have, have a number of supports. We have a repository and GitHub, Stack Overflow, um, and some, some things around uh, how to get support with CyberSource. Um, one thing to keep in mind here is that um, this Hello World, um, you know, works in a number of different languages uh, that are uh, loved by a lot of developers, Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, PHP, and, and Node.js. Any of those sound familiar out there or <laughs> almost like a foreign language? Um, 
but yeah, we have, we have just basically sample codes for each of these um, steps, and we have a, a SDK, so you don't have to write the code from scratch, basically. Whatever your, your um, language is, is based on, we can help you get started with, without you know, writing everything from scratch. And all, all of these um, APIs are based on a, 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 a spec called REST. Is anybody here familiar with REST? RESTful services, I, I see some head nods, that's good. <laughs> um, so, so, so this area is, is kind of a quick tor tutorial. We have Postman collections. Anybody use Postman out there? Yeah, Postman, okay, I see a nod there, that's great. Um, so we have a Postman collection where you can uh, you know, automatically start firing at these APIs. Um, you can go here and create a sandbox account, our sandbox accounts are free to create, uh, and you can start uh, using our sandbox by just signing up uh, with, with an email address, and then you, you can get access to our portal. Um, one thing I want to keep in mind here uh, that everybody keeps in mind is that you don't have to sign up to, to start running APIs. You can basically start uh, using uh, APIs right away on our developer center. So if you go to APIs here in API reference, we have basically a test sandbox account that all these transactions on a developer uh, portal goes to. Um, as, as you can see, we mentioned some of our uh, common features of our uh, payment gateway, uh, payment transactions, uh, authorize a, a credit card transaction. Uh, so for example, process a payment here. Um, it's fairly simple. You can on the fly add additional fields um, and then w you can just send the request. So this is a JSON request and the response comes back as, as, a, as a JSON response. And then you can see, you know, that there's authorization codes. Uh, all, um, if you're familiar with address verification, we have those kind of fields as well. Um, so just to sum it up, up again, um, our developer center is, is, is something geared toward a, a developer that is using SDKs or, or RESTful services, and, and this is our, our one, one real good endeavor that we've made to um, make all of our APIs RESTful. Um, and the second point I wanted to just reiterate is that you know, it, it's easy. We have a hello world that, that you, know, you can get support on. And, and sign up is, is available and free, but not necessary. And l last point is like running a, trans running a transaction, you don't have to have to sign up, you can dynamically do it in this uh, portal. All right, um, one last slide here is, um, I just wanna wrap it up with, um, uh, just kind of your, your typical developer deck here, uh, stack here. As you can see, we, s we have a number of SDKs that we support. Um, we are having uh, OAuth 2 and webhooks uh, along with rest RESTful APIs. As you can see from the top of the stack is your typical shopping cart like Magento, you know, moving down into the, our various dev centers or SDKs. Um, we have server-side code that, that that are SDKs on GitHub that will be available, and those talk eventually to the REST API, and then into our uh, various products like payment acceptance, global processing, fraud management, security, and business management. So I'm gonna turn it back to Brent yeah. to close it out. Yeah, so um, you know, we're open to any questions. We're, um, we've got a booth here on the fourth floor, so we're happy if anyone wants to stop by and chat with us. I know that there's different uh, hot topics out there right now. Um, so if it's something that's a little more in, in depth or in more detail, we'd love to sit down and, and have a conversation. Uh, but if you guys have any specific questions right now, we're happy to address those. I think, do we have a few minutes? Yeah, we have Most 15, 15. All right, so. Yeah. That's right, yeah. What, what does that mean for a developer when the developer can't rely on what private source is now returning, but private source basically is saying we're gonna serve you whatever the issuing bank does? I, I'm having a certain issue now where the issuing bank is down, and private source can't tell us what.
So you are a CyberSource customer? Oh, you've, you've, you worked with CyberSource before? Okay. Yeah, so, so with, with PSD, um, PS, the PS2 man, mandate, we, we've rolled out 3DS 2.0, which is a, a much upgraded version of, of 3DS, a more improved UI, better error handling. So this is, this is what we're, we've just launched into the marketplace right now with our Magento extension, is this uh, 3DS 2. Um, we partner with a sister company called Cardinal that um, helps us to, to uh, you know, ren render these, these URLs and things like that. But all the air handling is much more improved in terms of the back and forth between the issuing banks. Um, there are air, air scenarios where if the issuing bank doesn't reply, you can default to like liability wasn't shift but then you can also say, hey, you know, I can approve the transaction or decline it. So there are rules that you can put in place um, from, from a back-end perspective to handle those exceptions. Does that help? Yeah, we do have some error codes that will return once on, upon a timeout. So those are API base. And also, Cardinal is more of a JS, so there will be um, web hooks that will be sent to you on events so that you can properly, you know, message the customer. Does that help? Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any more questions? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a great question. A analytics is, is is a hot topic right now, and um, we've just rolled out a, a number of new analytics report for our merchant base. I'm talking on on, on behalf of more more cyber source. Um, it, it, it's it's a real hot hot topic, and we're actually um, going mobile first. Where you know, on a phone, you can check what the decline r rates of your transactions are, or you know, get alerts and things like that. Those are all in our um, immediate roadmap. In fact, we're piloting this with a number of merchants. But web-based analytics, we've also beefed that up to allow you to get some of the the most common uh, decline codes and you know what 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 are my revenues based on uh, currency. Um, you know, some, some of the, what we call um, conversion factors, you know, everybody's interested in, in payments conversion. How can I, you know, increase the payment conversions? And that's what we're, we, we've kind of tuned in our analytics uh, platform to do. Uh, we've r recently rolled out a new portal called uh, EBC2, um, it's just called EBC, Enterprise Business Portal, um, Enterprise Business Center. And uh, part of that uh, included are the new uh, analytics that I just mentioned that are, um, you know, very spot on. You can drill down to the exact country code, view things by currency. Um, I wish I had time to show you, but you know, we can always arrange uh, time later. Any more questions? <laughs> 